I be fan, we truly flow, blow ready, set, go Wave it like show, dropping new bits and collecting a dough Keep it a hundred, you already know We never frontin' but stuntin' for show From JD to PJ, we keepin' y'all hook like replay Let's see Ray, deliver the goods, no delay Y'all too busy cuffin', we don't know Podcast number four, baby High five, you know how we started, you know how I wanna start it what day is it today? Today is the 13th. And what time is it? Teen. It it's is. currently 7.49. For me, it's always time to eat. Okay. Hey, dude, <gasps> in and out sound bomb. Oh, my God. Have you ever had a 4x4? No. You know me. I don't... I can eat, but I just can't. I don't, nah. underst- I don't understand. Have you ever had the flying mongoose? No. No. Tell us about it. You, you're lying. There's no <laughs> such thing as a flying mongoose. Tell us about it. Dude, so what they put in it is bread, obviously. I can tell. <laughs> I, I can tell. I know his life. I know his. That's the first thing you come with is bread. Okay, <laughs> you like mongoose? I, tell me why you don't like like animal fries that much. Okay, okay, the thing is with me, I do not like the craft like cheese on something to melt it. I know they do craft cheese. Are you an animal it's lover? Like too, I'm not a huge. No, I'm not a huge, uh, <laughs> I'm not a huge, okay, Fred. I'm not a huge, um, onion guy. Oh, oh no, not onions. That was my onion guy. Really? I'm really? I'm really getting into onions now. I love onions. I just, I'm not a huge nah. onion guy. But Do you the, like the, cheese? Yeah, I just, I hate the fake craft cheese. If it's, it has to be like nacho cheese for like cheese fries or like melted shrimp. You know, you could ask for just cheese fries. Like I said again, I don't like craft cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yo. If you don't eat your fries with ketchup or ranch, I'm worried about you. That's me. Really? Are you serious? I'm just too lazy to fuck with it. I just eat it, dude. Are you I don't hate it. Like if it's if it's out there, I'm a dip. Okay, I don't go out of my way to get ketchup. If it's Cajun, Cajun fries, I'm cool with it. Who was that guy we were playing with on console? By the way, we are on the same dude. snack level. But I'm with you. But. Our ranch differences? I no, I disagree. Dude. I think our ranch differences are Jack in the box? Do you guys like blue cheese ranch? Okay, yeah. next question. Here we go. <laughs> Is that even a thing? What if you're a 50 year old woman? Jack in the box? Jack in the box ranch? Sponsor me. Please, because I'd be hyping no. you guys up all the way to the No, no. sorry. Uh, Tell about the homeless lady at Jack in the okay. Box. Okay. Tell you guys. First that. off, I agree. Jack in the Box ranch is quite good. But you McDonald's put, is a little no, bit better. Bro. McDonald's is a little bit no. better. All right, hey, Go ahead. Jack in the Box agree to ranch. Disagree. Please. Right. Jack in the Box ranch has like a sour taste to it. What I don't like that. Special long goose? Yes. <laughs> I think that's the butter milk, which is good. I don't like that. Okay. I have a story about Jack in the Box. I have a story about, I have a story about Jack in the Box. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, grab your popcorn. Okay? The other day I was at Jack in the Box, dude, and this was the weirdest thing that ever happened to me. I don't know if I told you, but this is the weirdest thing that ever happened to me. I think you did. Got a number? <sighs> Usual. Number thir- lar- uh, 13. <laughs> <laughs> I, got number, I got number 13 large combo with, with a Coke and two, two chicken sandwiches, all right? Something like Something like Something like Like it's an appetizer Yeah Alright Something like So I don't mean to be rude But like Right now what's going on Like you don't wanna Be really close to anybody yeah, yeah. Talking to anybody, anybody That you don't know Right And you wanna stay As sanitary as possible So I'm going Through the drive through And I pay for all my stuff But like before I go To the window I see This like homeless lady It was an Asian lady She was like i say a little bit younger than um, my, my mom, okay? So she was like an adult, yeah. okay? <laughs> and um, she was talking to herself, so she didn't look like she was all there. She could have been, but it looked like she wasn't because she had like a suitcase with her. And um, she's, she's like literally posted up that Jack in the Box drive through, probably asking for money. So I was like, dang, like I don't want her to talk to me so I want to like put the window up when okay. when I'm done getting my order so I got my order and I was just like whatever I'll just drive by yeah. right and like <clears throat> this lady she looks I'm, I got my stuff right I'm ready to go home and pound right I'm ready to just like grow I know that and I drive and I drive by and I have my window down a little bit oh my God. and <laughs> I have my window down a little bit and she looks at me and we make eye contact and she's like Oh, hi, Brian. And my heart sank. 
my heart sank, dude, because I was like, how does this person know me? Like, there's no way that this person knows me. I know faces. Trust me. I compare faces to people all the time. I know faces. Wait, you compare faces? No, you always tell me, dude, that's a good one. Blue face? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, no, yeah, but you'll say, like, dude, this looks like this guy. And yeah. Like, oh, right? yeah. So there's no way that this person knows me, but I don't know them. And she was like, hi, Brian. And, like... She's just still talking to herself, and I'm like, look, I look, and I like look forward, then I turn around, and like, look at the back of my car, I can see her through the back of my car, and she's still waving at me, and I could read her lips, she's like, hi, Brian, and I was like, oh, my God, like, I was so scared, I called Cole, I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in bed, dude, <laughs> I'm in bed, this is like, I'm like, at least 11, like, my sleep schedule's been off lately, because this whole thing, so I usually wait for 10.30 and everything, and so like, BJ calls me, he's like, dude, the weirdest thing just happened. I'm like, what? He's like, this homeless lady just called me by my name. Yeah, and like, like, she knew me dying. for years. Like, it was crazy. I don't know, I was scared, dude. I didn't know what to do. I went back a couple of days later, like, oh, yesterday. I was there yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I was so glad I didn't see you. Hey, I guess we all have stories about Jack in the Box because I have one. Oh, go ahead, bro. Let's hear it. Tell, tell us, like, you always spend, you used to spend the night at my place. Always spend the night at BJ's. And, and they're cousins. Really? They're not. Yeah, they're cousins. cousins. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks for putting <laughs> yeah. that out there. Yeah, I don't want you guys to Uh-huh. Yeah. So, it's like, what, 10? Dude, no. Late. It's 12, almost 1. Okay. We're, like, hungry. We're, like, nothing's open right now but Jack in the Box type thing. Mm. And I want, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, dude. And like, I got like eight spicy chicken sandwiches. <laughs> Grab them. We go back to his house down the block. Open one. Open one. First one. I first one. Check the bottom bread. Hard. <laughs> Solid hard. Yeah. I remember and then that. I checked the other ones. Dude. Hard, dude. Steam, I ate chicken nuggets. I just ate the chicken. Yeah, the, just the chicken Sad. that came in the sandwich, huh? Mm-hmm. That's just good. Mm. But, I mean, what are you going to expect at 1 in the morning? Like, work, people that are working at 1 in the morning do, do not want to be working. Yeah. But, like, still, you should you paid for it. That's you should have got what you got. Eight of them. Eight of them. <laughs> Talking about funny restaurant story. Me, JD, and BJ, over, I think, 2018 summer, so going into, like, freshman year of college, uh, my dad got me a gift uh, for graduating, uh, so he, he got me a trip to DC for the All Star Game for MLB, and so I'm like, yeah, like, can I take BJ? Yeah, let's go. And so it's the night before we were about to, about to take off, and so it's like okay, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock. Like, dude, we're hungry. Like, same thing with you guys. Let's go. Let's go to McDonald's. JD left now. No, <laughs> actually, no, no, no. It, it wasn't like that. Me and BJ got food uh, to bring back to the house, like watch TV yeah. and. Uh, yeah, we, we we got our food and everything. We we went went back to the house. Well, and I was I was spending the night. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. You we'll went there with just friends. Other <laughs> <laughs> brothers, we're brothers. We're brothers. No, we're brothers. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, uh, yeah, so we're uh, we're watching TV and we're getting everything on the like we're putting everything on the table. Unloaded. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we, and then. What was it? Did you? Did they give you a big Mac? Give me my Big Mac. <laughs> like that's the whole thing. <laughs> and I'm like, no, we're definitely going back. Like, we're gonna make this night right. We're about to go on the best trip of our lives. We're gonna go get our Big Mac. And JD walks in the living room. I'm like, JD, you want to come with us get our Big Mac? He's like, yeah, for sure. So we go in, and it was like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. So it was closed. The only thing open was the drive-through. Mm -hmm. And so like, dang, like, and it was a big line. I'm like, well, I'm not waiting in this line. We're gonna go up to the door and start knocking. And it's locked and everything, so we start knocking and we're like, hey, hey. Like, the lady could not hear us because she had the earphone in for the uh, drive through yeah. And so we kept banging, and so she finally looks and she opens the door. No, she can't, she's like, oh, no, we're closed, we're closed. <laughs> and we're like, and she can't hear us, we're like, no, 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 no. Like, like imagine trying to explain to someone that yeah. you forgot your order, rather than saying, oh, are you like, are you open? So she <laughs> thought we kept saying, are you guys open? But she's like, no, no, we're closed, closed. So we keep banging on it, right? You're like, dude, you forgot our big neck. So she finally comes to the door, and she's like, yeah. Um, because you had your receipt with you, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, so I bought a Big Mac, and you didn't, you didn't give it to me. She's like, oh, okay, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. So she opens it up. She's like, okay, wait here. So she finally gets her Big Mac. And as she gives us our Big Mac, the door's still open, and a homeless person walks in. <laughs> yeah. And, like, we're, we're kind of talking. You know, like, that feeling, like, when you're very tired, everything's funny, and you just laugh super, like, yeah. like loud, and, like, you can't breathe. Like, one of those types of laughs. The homeless person walks in, and the lady's like, no, no, we're close, we're close, we're close. But she kept going, dude. That whole thing, like, we literally, we walked out and we were laughing so hard. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, dude, that was the, 
Made her night. So funny, huh? Made her night. Oh, made, made her night. Made her night. She got food. I hope she got food. I really hope she did. <sighs> JD, what was your favorite experience in DC? Like, what, what's one that definitely like stands out the most in DC? There was definitely one skill that I brought back from DC, and that was the art of paper airplane making. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, we, our uh, condo was on like the 10th floor. Dude, it had to be like 30. <laughs> no it was way. like 10 floors. We got a ream of paper, like, you know, a ream of paper, just one by one. Yeah. And we, just off the off the top. And what's what's funny is that is like like are we gonna bring our Xbox? Like we're yeah. like we're not gonna be bored. Yeah. The place had it had a TV but like no cable like, did yeah. cable like there was nothing to do in the hotel room. And so like what should we do? Like let's just go get paper and do paper airplanes. Yeah. Yeah, just any type, you name it. Stealth bombers, um C one thirty sevens. I can I can make it. Like we got so hooked, we were watching YouTube videos like all night on how to make paper airplanes. We were so hooked on it, dude. Yeah, and like so from our ledge we were higher like there's like the lo- main lobby and then the roof of the lobby we were like above here so you see the roof of the lobby like, you know if you ever went to a hotel you said the rocks and the ceiling and everything by the end of that trip there was at least or something please? 200 paper airplanes sitting on that ledge just from us only and like I remember it like the last night it rained super hard and all the paper was wet torn up everywhere and like who threw one and like the lady under us is like, guys, is that you throwing that? Was it you? Someone threw one. <laughs> this guy is looking for my shoe, bro. He's playing footsie with me. Oh, oh yeah, he just got new shoes for his birthday, so he's gonna. Yeah, everyone, fuck those shoes. Yeah. Uh, what are they called? Uh, Air Max 97. Why can't I? Oh, tonight you do. Well, be careful with them. Yeah. Be careful with them, guys. What was that? That's a uh, Kim Pio. Yeah, that's what it was. That's so Dude, let's talk. About, let's talk about me and you in a English class. Oh senior my year. god. Let's. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna bring it back a couple years. Yeah. Right, is it a couple years? How many years? Has Two been? years. Since graduation. <laughs> Since graduation. What happened? It's the longest airplane. <laughs> Since that paper airplane. Yeah. So me and BJ. Our senior year had the same English class, and that, that was our last period because we played baseball. So our sixth period was our sports. So we had one through five. Dude, this I'm, is not what I tell my story. This is what I You Can need we, to see this, bro. I was the one that. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. They don't care. Um, Please. So me and him in the same English class. We had one Jacob Villarreal, shout out to Jacob, Dead yeah. Bags, uh, a bunch of other people. But me Holy and EJ were in that class. Most importantly, shout out Miss Sidek. Miss Sidek. Literally like an angel. An angel. So lovable. If any of our viewers know her right now, uh, give her an email. Tell her we <laughs> shout her out. <laughs> oh, Google Docs. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, but there was so many I think we gotta talk about some of the stories. Like me um, and BJ were in that class and like we were the we were the the comedy group right there. Okay, I'll t- I got I got a pretty good one, but it's like I swear it was not the intention to hit her. Okay. Okay. This is, this is nice. You guys, I want you guys to know about this. You guys deserve this airplane. Oh man, can you pay All attention right. to the story, dude? Okay. Dude, you just hit the mic. Sorry. So, um, my senior year, I don't know. We were just goofing around in that class, but it was like one of our favorite classes I ever had. Um, I'm not gonna say his name. All right. Um, Devin Baglioni. Okay, yeah. He was he was definitely like always on my head about stuff. So I just try to bug him as much as I can and I got a pen, you take the ink out or whatever, you take the top of the cap off and you have yourself uh Spitball. Spitball. Okay. Machine. Pen. Machine. Right? Thing. Nice. So <laughs> like I started I started uh I started uh spinning spitballs spinning spitballs at him and like uh I hit him in the back of the head a couple times, and he was like, whatever, laughing it off. We were all laughing about it. Like, I was having a good time. And then we had to, and then we had to, uh, we had to split up. So Devin had to go all the way to the other side of the classroom. And how our classroom was set up is when you walk in the door, there's about maybe six to seven rows yeah. that come this way, and then another six to seven that go that way. So me and Colton are over here in the back right, and he's in the 
other side of the room. And her, what is it called? The podium. The podium is right here in the middle. And she had her hands, if you guys can imagine this, she had her hands on the side of the podium, podium, just like talking to the whole class. She's like explaining the rules of what we gotta do. We're probably coming up with like uh, activity or something. And like, I don't know what came through my mind. Like, I'm stupid. But like, I don't know what came through my mind, but I got like, I got the courage to try to hit him across the room without her seeing. And oh man, I hope she doesn't watch this. <laughs> She I, I doubt she knows what we do. Yeah. I doubt it. If she does, though. With all sincerity, with all sincerity, Miss Heidek, I am truly sorry. I swear <laughs> I did not try to hit you, okay? But, like, he's on the other side, and I'm like, all right, I'm getting my, my trajectory right, and I'm, like, trying to hit him, just dome him, right? Just right in the forehead. And uh, and he didn't, didn't expect it because he's so far. So, like, I, like, lean to the side, I think who's sitting in front of me? Who's who's sat in front of me? No, Deanna. Deanna. It was Deanna. Deanna's yeah. sitting in front of me, right? Shout out Deanna. <clears throat> and like I get to the side, and I don't know why, but I try to do like a side shoot <laughs> this way. And mind you, she's drive side shooting. Shoot. Yeah, she's um, <clears throat> <laughs> she's like just like this, right? She's holding onto the podium. Excuse me. She's uh, holding onto the podium like this, and I try to do a side one, and I spit it with all my might. <laughs> and the thing goes flying super hard like a line drive and it sticks right there on her freaking finger <laughs> sticks on her finger and she stops the whole class yo and my heart sank I put my head down like you know when you were in trouble and like you just like go down nothing like nothing happened and uh she's looking across the room she like looks this way and then looks this way. and like she thinks it's Colton that did it and like, he was, like dude I'm, I'm sitting here she's like I'm like, you know, he, he tells right? I'll tell you after okay. my reaction. He he think uh, she thinks it's it's Colton, but it was it was actually me. And like, she's like, oh my goodness, I just got hit with a spitball. <laughs> she just got hit with a spitball. And like, I'm like, oh my god, I'm done. I'm suspended. Over. Done. Deleted. Season, season gone. gone. Yeah, gone season, forever. Season and like. She's looking at it and she's like, "Oh, you can tell somebody dipped this in water because it's wet." <laughs> Dude, <laughs> disgusting. You kidding me? <laughs> All right, but like, so what she's were like, you thinking when she tried to play? <laughs> well, I'm like, I'm trying not to laugh because she's like reading from a book and like I'm trying to focus because I didn't want to get in trouble because like it was baseball season and so I hear like I hear that just from BJ and like I'm dying right and I don't want her to know I'm like laughing and I hear. And he goes like he scrambles. And I look over and I see her hand. And I'm like, right when I saw her hand, I'm like, you did not just hit this side thing with a spitball, dude. So she's like, oh, this is super wet. I know it's not spit. So she looks at me and she goes, and like literally, I'm staring at her and I go like this. I'm like, that's not me. I promise you, Messiah. And like I sink in my chair and it's like, oh okay. And she wipes it off like it was nothing. And she just, she just continued. Continued. Oh, she she kept going. She just dropped it. Listen, we were never disrespectful to Messiah. Yeah, we knew when to mess around. It doesn't matter anymore. Like, but still, we weren't like disrespectful to any, to the teacher at least. There was some, yeah. there, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry. There was, there was this kid, Indian kid, who, who sat across like, the road, and every every day, BJ goes, sorry! <laughs> like, and yeah, it was him off. Oh, no, there was this one time where uh, it was like the English lesson, and we had to do poems. And so she's like, okay, class, your next big assignment is you can, like, take this week, you gotta memorize 10 lines from a poem that someone else made up, you cannot make it up. And like, me and BJ are like, well, all of us, but like, we were notorious for like, kind of freestyling in class and like, everything off the top. So I'm like, oh, this is easy, we'll just make something up. But I like, during that time, I had like a, a poem or like rap that I memorized and it was super deep. I, I, I still have it on my phone. And I'm like, I'm just going to say that one and just say BJ did it. And so I go up there and I'm like, yeah, this is my best friend. This is my best friend, BJ's poem. And so I'm like, I say like, lately I've been in my mind going deep, like long nights, hard nights, with barely any sleep. And so like, I kept, I went like 20 lines and I was getting into it. And so I'm like, yeah, like, like again, BJ wrote this poem, but it was mine. Like I wrote it. I'm like, yeah, BJ wrote it. And she goes, Colton, I know she's like, BJ. That's the most beautiful, beautiful thing <laughs> I've ever heard. You should, you should write, you should do this in like, like a poetry thing, in like, like a festival or something like that. 
I'm like, yeah, BJ, BJ is amazing. He wrote it so beautifully. <laughs> and then this fool goes up. He's like, yeah, my best friend Colton wrote it, and he didn't have a he like yeah, freestyled in front of everybody. Of the and it's like, it's like this one's called Best Friends. Yeah. He's like, best friends are like feet. And like he made the stupidest poem, and I'm dying. And then, and uh, she's like, who wrote that one? And he's like, yeah, Colton. And she's like, Colton, that's 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 okay. I'm like you, fucking ass. You know what I'm saying, dude? I was, I was, I was so mad though, dude. Like, ah. Yeah, Jordan, do you have a story of you ever getting in trouble in high school? Dude, I got in trouble lots of times. Like, what was one... One that took to me forever, bro, and yeah. just really dumb, was I was in class. It was hot, dude. It was really hot. Why would... No, keep going. It was really hot, and like, I need to take off my sweater, dude. Mm. And I'm like, I get up, this teacher hated me, dude. Hated me. I get up, take off my sweater. Jordan, go to Mr. Smith's class right now. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm like over there, bro. I'm How could this be? <laughs> I was like, I was arguing here. I was like, I was hot. Like, I'm, like I need to take off my sweater. Yeah. She was not having it, bro. Because there's so much shit I've, I've done to her. Like, yeah. I'm so, I'm so sorry, bro. Like, some girl had a tampon, painted it red. Left <laughs> Oh my oh, god! That's that's totally not my kids, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's tough. That's I'm rough. Sorry, Jeez. No, speaking about spitballs, BJ, <laughs> BJ wasn't done. He's like, I'm not gonna spit it at people. I'm gonna spit it at things in the room. And like, remember you were just shooting it at her desk, and like it was sticking on like paintings and oh. everything. And one stuck on her chair, dude. Oh my <laughs> god! Yeah, one stuck right here, like in the back, oh, and she was gonna see it. And I was like, uh, again, I'm stupid. I shouldn't have done it. Judy, there's... Okay. Yeah, there's there's a, a story. Time. You used to throw racers. Mr. I uh, used to throw racers at people. Shout out Mr. Racer Cho. Mr. Cho. Eighth oh grade. Oh, my God. Mr. Cho. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my personal favorite was Miss Kep. Shout out to Miss Kep. Miss Kep. Oh. She's honestly the homie. I love Miss Kep. Um, Matt Kep? <laughs> yeah, there was just one time. It was like the first or second day of school. Me... I don't even remember who it was. We were throwing erasers. And Mr. Cho's like, why don't you two step outside if it's so funny? Because we were, like, laughing. And, like, me and him were just laughing outside because it was pretty funny. We were hitting people. And then, uh, like, we were done. We were just standing there just like, what do we do now? And then he comes out. He's like, next time you want to disrupt my class, this and that, this and that. And uh, that's pretty much the end of that story. <laughs> there was more rats to me. No. More right. to it. No. I was telling JD before <laughs> we got in here, I was telling him how, like, I had a pretty big group. Mm-hmm. And we would always hang out at the at the soccer field, like in the grass. Yeah, that was, friends. That was our that was our spot. Yeah. And I don't know. We had an idea to just make a circle, put somebody in the middle, and just one, two, three, and throw them up in the air. <laughs> we got this one kid to do it, bro. We said, "All right, we're gonna do it. One, two, three. And threw them up like like this high. I don't know what was. Going through our head, we all just back up. What? We back up. You let the homie fall. Yes, <laughs> we back up, bro. <sighs> Boom. Tailbone. Oh. Gone. Deleted. Yeah. Vanished. That's a lobby. Bro. Good Right when that happened, the bell rang. And we just dipped. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Dude. Hold up. We did, bro. Because we were like, hey. Because at that time, it was... um. If you're late, you're serving detention yeah. um, after school, no matter what. And, like, we have five minutes to get a class, right? And our class is, like, across the whole campus. <laughs> living there. This guy, bro, kid you not, bro. We're all in class, and he has the same class as us. Same class as we put the tampon on. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> this, uh, bell rings, end of class. Barely walks into the class. Wow. Took him that long, dude. Wow. Dude. Bro, that kid came back to school with like a fucking <laughs> was, he, was, he, was he mad at you guys? No. Oh, my. God. And then, you know, at that time, my bad, my bad. Okay. At the time, the backpack thing, when people would just run and you yeah. like, oh, my God. Throw a backpack set up? Yeah. Oh, Bro, yeah. <laughs> we were doing that, and then one time, someone threw a backpack, boom, smacked the kid in the head, bro. Just cut. Wow. Bro, we were crazy. It was crazy, bro. 
If you guys made it this far into the podcast, make sure you guys comment down below Tailbone. All right? Tailbone. Tailbone. Also, tailbone. we forgot this in episode three because we only have – we should probably wrap it up. Shout out to our new homie, I am Jimmy Hill. I am Jimmy oh, Hill. I am Listen. Jimmy Hill, bro. That guy is so me, how much time we got? We have like two minutes. Okay. So me, BJ, and uh, JD, what we normally do after we're playing PS4, like just to like – instead of watching YouTube because like, we normally do that too – we go on Twitch and kind of mess with streamers, like in like a polite way, you should say. Um, <laughs> so we we are super into like obviously we're baseball we're baseball guys. So there's a game, MLB the Show. This guy's streaming it, and like we go down to the, like the the lower viewers, so he actually sees our comments and reads them out loud. And this guy had five views, uh, five viewers, excuse me. Um, so we hop in and like yo, let's just mess with this guy, and he seems super chill. I'm like yeah, let's just do it. Who started it off, right? I think it was like, yo, what's up? Like, we come in, he like he says hi, because like, if you hop into someone's stream, you see the name pop up and everything. Yeah. And so like, I, I click a like, so my name pops up on the screen. And then, this guy, JD, comments. I am Jimmy Hill. Let me just say, I'm sorry. Yeah. I was being an idiot. I didn't think you'd be this chill, which you are chill. But I was like, hey, subscribe to our channel, Independent Productions. And looking back on it... I probably shouldn't have done that, but it was kind of funny. Jimmy Hill, I'm sorry. Because you, if you're a big streamer, you don't want people promoting your stuff on your stuff, like your channel, because it's kind of yeah. respectful. Like you're here to watch me; yeah. they're not here to watch you. Yeah. So Jay did it. And he was mad. He's like, "Oh, that's some weak, weak stuff. Like, don't do that." And so then, we're like, "Oh, no, no, no!" And so like we kind of bonded, and he had a music request thing, and so I was like, "Oh, I make music." He's like, "Oh, cool. What is it on?" I was like, "YouTube." <laughs> He's like, "Oh, cool. What is it?" I was like, "Well, it's the same channel that JD Krug said." He's like, "Oh." <laughs> All right, so he plays. He plays our channel in front of everybody. He plays our songs. It was, he was chill. Uh, so we'll, we'll put his name in the descri- uh, description. He's a yeah. big TikTok guy. I think he has like 15K followers. So shout him out. Follow him. Give him some love. Yeah. I uh, appreciate it, Jimmy. So uh, Tell him we sent you. Yeah, we sent. Yeah, exactly. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Any final thoughts? Like Jerry. Um, everybody stay safe. We're trying to. Uh, make sure you guys comment down below tailbone again and uh that's it for me that's it for me 15 likes next podcast to take a mouse trap to the nip live live okay oh. 15 likes mouse trap to the nip you heard it from we will see you later peace out